How's it going guys? My name's Graham and welcome to Community Inc. Brand new alpha for like a village management game. You, you build and manage your village, try and keep everyone fed. But then there's also mythical creatures that wander around and you have to do like carry out diplomatic relationships with them. Oversee trades, try not to make people mad, try not to go to war. It seems like there's a lot to manage. It looks like a really chill, charming game and I plan to kind of just do like a nice relaxed look at it. My village will be the Childem. It's like a, a kingdom of chill. I'm going to play normal mode. I don't want to not get attacked. That doesn't seem very fun. So I have 30 days to complete all the goals of our company, but you can just keep playing after that. I'm going to start with a $600 loan. I'm going to leave everything just as is. I'm going to start as a junior manager by choice, not because the game is making me do so. And we'll start with myself as our first worker, and I'll work my way up to be the ruler of the Childem. Creating nature. Who knew it was so simple? Here we are. I just finished doing the tutorial, so I know a little bit about what's going on. Hello, boss. You were allocated to take care of a new community for our company. You have 30 days to complete all objectives for our company. You can find them in the boss menu. Make your workers happy or they will do bad things to the community. I just thought maybe they would die. I don't want them to mess up with my community. There will be several contracts that will come from other creatures. Choose wisely. Portals will be used to transport new lings, the characters, and also can be used by other races for trading or fighting. Now let's get to work. Oh, you can just continue after 30 days. It's up to you if you want to. Nope, I'm in it strictly for the money. If we manage to last for 30 days, then I'm cashing my check and I'm out of here. I've done the tutorial, no need for me to pause and slowly work through things, I'm all ready. I, I'll just hire my first Ling right off the bat. Welcome M, M the Builder, I think I'll just leave you as a builder. I might as well hire, I'll, I'll start off with like three people? Maybe that is an appropriate amount, I have no idea. So we got Says Hammer, M. Coca, and Sid Robin. I, I definitely don't need three builders, so I'll work on switching some of those up. You can see here they got their overall health, their happiness, their education, how well heated they are, and what their current mood is. Sid, you are going to get a new job, my friend. How would you like to be the town's lumberjack? And Says... You should be the builder, since Hammer is literally in your name, I'm guessing it's like a family profession, and that you might have an aptitude for it. Oh, but I think they also have different traits. Oh, I see. So I should definitely be picking their app, like, their professions based on that. Sid is brave, and should probably become a warrior at some point. I guess I just don't need warriors right now. Says is a good manager. That's also something I don't need right now. M is actually a good builder and good with plants. I think I'm going to turn them into a farmer. I have hammers, hoes, axes. You start with all that stuff, so I should be good. This game takes place in some kind of like sky world that's interconnected through this portal. And so people come and go through that. Let us put this lumberjack to work. Select a couple trees for you to get started on. And you get planting corn. I like corn, and so everyone in town will have to like corn as well. Quit loving each other. Quit l no laughter or anything. We don't have time for that. Our civilization is only just starting. Idle builders will just go around and start picking shit up when, when they got nothing else going on. And so that leaves the lumberjack to carry on chopping down trees and everything like that. Oh, we got our first visitor. And it's a cool blue fox. He's adorable. I love him. Can I adopt him? How do I how do I bring him into the fold? Oh shit, there's also like a panther man. Oh, I missed him. They're out of here. Oh, there's more of them. What are you guys up to? Do I live near like a village of these cool fox creatures? Oh, I got my first contract. That didn't take much time. The Magic Oaks. Hi there. We're out of space for food. We need wood barrels. A lot of it. Can you provide it for us? I assume that means 10 minutes. Like 10 minutes of game time, probably. I'm going to refuse because I don't think I can meet anyone's demands right now because I don't entirely know what, I, what I'm doing. Put that log away. Don't talk to the farmer. It's not... 
It's not what your job is supposed to be right now. I'm hiring, I'm bringing in one more person into our society here. Then they'll also be a builder and they can run around and take care of tasks. Do you have experience points? Spend experience points. Shit, I didn't know I was going to be able to expend on things. Well, let's increase your wisdom so you can become a better worker. And your will so you res are more resistant to things. I didn't know I was going to be leveling people up in this game. You're eventually going to be converted into a warrior, so I'll give you some combat and some wisdom and some will. You're, you leveled up again, so I guess I'm just going to give you a whole bunch of shit then. Everyone's probably going to want to have somewhere to sleep, right? Let's, let's get a house in the mix. I don't think we have enough materials to make that happen. So in the meantime, everyone just keep working. You're looking, you're looking great. How about you chuck a workbench down on the ground so we can, uh, we can build some supplies. Is that it? Is the lumberjack done doing his thing? Do I need to, do I need to select him and make him start doing work again? Let's cut these down. They're bothering me. Right in the way of where I'm trying to look at everything. Is this a timer of how much longer you have left to harvest these? Or what? what's what's going on with these corns? Are they ready to harvest yet? Or was that telling me now that they're grown up? Now they're grown up. Now they're harvestable. No, don't sleep, guys. There's tons left to do today. I'll just fast forward through that. Uh, I need 20 wood plates, so I guess I'll get that process starting in, in the crafting here. I got I got what it takes. It takes a lumberjack, workbench, wood log. I got what it takes. Let's get those built. I'm really glad I didn't promise anyone that I was going to build them a bunch of barrels, because there was no way I was getting that done in time. Salaries paid? I'm paying these people? Oh my. <laughs> I literally just thought that they were living for like room and board but they don't have a room eventually they will but yeah i did not think i was paying anyone <laughs> oh i just grabbed a random house i wonder if i would have been better off building anything else i didn't realize there were so many different kinds of houses that i could be building they take really different combinations of things You're probably gonna want to grow more things i think oh you can you can manage more than one plantation at a time you should probably work on that then. Eliminate three stone golems. I was told in the tutorial that the uh, magic oaks and the stone golems don't get along. It gives you a huge amount of relations. But I don't even have a warrior ready yet. We know that the stone golems are evil. We know it down to the core. They want to eliminate everyone. Not me, they've never been anything but kind to me. I also don't know if I've ever met one, so it's really hard for me to say. Why don't we show them that we are not weak? If you can deal with some of them, we will pay. No thanks. I don't know if that lowers my relations, actually, to refuse things. Probably? You can see here all the different things. The Orcon, Dark Panther, Magic Oak, Stone Golem, Sharp Eagle, Dragonite, Mushface, my absolute favorite. No, just kidding, my absolute favorite is the Blue Foxes. I went back on that very quickly. <laughs> How do these builders set their priority? Why are they not building the actual building? Oh, because my lumberjack is busy. Oh, well, I need to hire a new person and probably make a new person a lumberjack. Rocky Lichens. That is a fantastic name. I think you're newer than Fat Ass Odin. I forgot to check the last time I hired someone. They're a scholar. They're good workers. Rocky Lichens, a hell of a warrior. You're definitely getting set aside for warrior status then. I'm gonna put you to work as a lumberjack. Oh shit, I don't have another... I don't have another axe. What does that take? How do I get a stone brick? Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of steps in this process here. Someone go collect this stone. What does that take? Should I just kill a stone golem? Is that the easiest way for me to do this right now? I need one of you to become a miner. Not a child, but a person who is capable of mining stones. So you do your thing. New job level, I'm more prepared at my job now. Well, I'm glad you got so excited about it, buddy. Oh, nice, I got some stone brick on the way. And I can build another axe, right? Well, you guys are gonna have to sleep under the stars again, and that's completely your fault. Now I can finally build an axe. 
All right, I gotta hire another resident. Although, I should probably be keeping a better eye on my food. That looks like lots of food, I think. I have no idea. One more, one more person joined the colony for now. How about that? We got Dan Kick. Good healers and doctors? Well, how about a lumberjack? And now, now I can finally start building these, right? There, now we can get some planks in the works. And roof tile, I need clay and a sculptor workbench. I don't know where clay comes from. If you guys work hard today, then maybe you'll actually have a roof to sleep under. I won't feel guilty about it. This is very much your own fault. There's like some pumpkins out here. You, you should just run out there and collect those. Alright, so my computer crashed. Stupid, shitty thing. I lost the progress that I had. I fired up Chillville 2.0. I'm mostly getting things back to where they were. I'm pretty damn close to it at this point. The stone golems just got in touch with me. They just want 40 bucks, and they'll give 40 stone and better relations. That's the first good contract anyone's ever offered me. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have the same people. They have similar names. That's just going to happen with this type of game. Uh, but unfortunately, those people are gone. So hopefully no one was too attached to any of them. Why are these jerk asses putting all my stone into this building? You've already done what you need to do. Now cut that shit out. Just kind of looking around here, I still don't know exactly where I get clay. I feel like I need to just give someone a shovel. Oh, fucking, oh yeah, I need a herbalist so I can start getting earth leaves. I also want to hire on a second lumberjack here. Plant lover, though, you should probably become a herbalist. Okay, I added wheat and cotton plantations over here, because I thought I was going to need wheat for building this roof thing, but apparently I need earth leaf for that, so I was wrong about that one. I think wheat is literally just for food, eventually for flour, but cotton will be useful for building clothes out of. It's still a little bit before I have to start dealing with rainy and cold days, but that could really fuck me up. Oh, I turned down the stone golems a couple times because they kept trying to ask me to kill the oak people. You don't have honor. Oh. Oh, no, the oak people were asking me to kill stone golems. You guys should be happier with me. I was the one who didn't kill you. I completely forget what it was I said I was going to do for you. Oh, I accepted their contract and all they wanted was money, but then I forgot to actually, like, check, hit the checkbox. I accepted the contract, but then I didn't deliver. Oh, shit. That was a mistake. I'm very sorry about that. All of a sudden, that was the easiest contract I ever could have done, and I would have got a lot out of it, and I totally botched it, and I am going to have to pay the, the toll at some point. New contract. They want axes, pickaxes, and hoes. You're asking a lot. I just kind of had the rug pulled out from under me, and I'm a little bit concerned about what I can do at this moment in time. Oh, no. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Who's attacking? Oh god, okay, I got like a wolf running in here. Who is most battle ready? I do not have a lot of fighters in my midst. But my herbalist, I think, is gonna become my warrior. So now you're gonna be a, a peace-loving nature, like, herbalist, gardener, but then you're also gonna be the one who takes care of everyone when shit like this starts going down. Thank goodness you lived. Okay, I can actually select, like, warriors are the only characters you can actually properly select. Oh, it's a fur piece. Alright, alarm, alarm off. Everything is looking good right now, guys. How would you like to go back to the exciting life of a herbalist? Oh, good, I think eating maybe restores health, so they're, they're looking a lot better now. Okay, to build roof tiles, I need a sculptor's workbench, and, oh shit, I think I actually have everything for that. Oh, I don't have a carpenter. I think I need to level up a builder for that. No, a level 2 lumberjack. That's what I need. Oh, I just need a saw. God, there's always something stopping me from getting towards the next thing I'm working towards here. Alright, at least I can build a saw. And then I should be able to become a carpenter. Someone gonna get on that? There we go. Okay, saw made. Now you can become a carpenter. Carpenter is built. You need to build a sculptor's workbench. You dingbat, I, I just made you a carpenter. Alright, now we can get that underway. 
God, I just want a house. Maybe I'm putting too much priority on that. Maybe having a house isn't, like, the most important thing. To me, it really feels like it is, but I, I could be totally off on that. Sorry for wanting to put a roof over everyone's head. Let's throw that down near our other bench, I suppose. The Sharp Eagles, they want six wood swords. I got I'm turning down contracts. I'm in, like, the fourth day of my civilization, guys. Pump the brakes. Let me kind of manage my shit here for a few days. Fucking need a sculptor to make roof tiles. God. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Pause. Alarm is on. What do we need to worry about here? Who is attacking us? Herbalist, you're switching back to warrior mode. I, I need you. I need you here, buddy. These guys aren't doing it, are they? Oh, really? This mushroom just decided to turn on us? I hope we're not totally ruining the relations with our with our mushroom friends now. Good chance that's the case. Shit, alright, I, I think that was it then. Alarm off. Seems like things went quite well for us there. Let's make it so that you uh, have more health and can deal more damage. Because you just kind of barely lived that shit. Sculptor, need a level 3 miner. Oh shit, now it's gonna start getting rainy on us. Alright, let's make ourselves a cooker spoon, I guess. Damn, things aren't looking too good here. Miner, now have... Wait, cooker. No, I didn't want cooker. Oh, I fucked that up. I super fucked that up. This is what I wanted. That makes so much more sense. A cooker spoon really didn't make a lot of sense. Well, Phelps, you're you're a man of many talents, because now you're also about to become our sculptor. We can finally build roof tiles. Alright, I know what clay is. Where do I get clay? That's a that's a much bigger concern of mine right now. Oh, his mood is terrible. You you seem like maybe you're overworked or something? Oh, it's probably from the rain. Everyone's probably miserable right now. Except for you. What the hell are you up to that you're so happy about? Back back to fighting mode here, Mr. Herbalist. Oh, you never went and healed. Well, that's no good. I certainly hope that you can uh, hold your own here. Oh, you're like for sure gonna die, aren't you? Oh, Batman! Which is how I always read that name. Batman died. Well, that's no good. <laughs> who's, who's the most next best fighter? Uh, they got fucking sick because I don't have a roof over their head. I'm working on it. I realize you're sick, but you have to be the new guard. Go, can't you go pick up his sword? You can't just, you can't just go pick up the sword from the ground over there? Shit. Oh, they're slowly just chopping away at everyone now. I couldn't build a new sword quickly enough. This is a disaster. I think that I'm just gonna speed things up, let this play out, Watch everyone kind of get chopped away at. Watch all these foxes and panthers and things that are probably much more battle capable than I am. They're just going to let this happen. I might as well hire one more person. <laughs> who Who is this? The Cloud Bulls here. You're, you're our only hope. Yeah, you just go run away. To hell with this, right? We don't have to stay and take it. Well, I mean, I didn't think we had to. You can just carry iron if you want. I'm not sure where all that came from. That's cool that we have iron. You just keep outrunning this guy. You could run everything forever. But now there's wolves. If you just keep a move on, then you don't have to worry about a thing. We can build again. <laughs> How is this working? <laughs> this shouldn't work. Oh, there we go. They got her. They got her. All right. Well, there's the end of Chillville. Chillville and Chillville 2.0. We never even finished building a house. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It seems like a fun game. I do want to play around with it a little bit more now that I know a little bit better what I'm doing. And then hopefully I don't totally screw it. And have my village completely wiped out. I'll see you again soon.